Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, and I'm with Kirk Herbstreet here in the booth. And we're also joined by our sideline reporter, Aaron Andrews. It's college football on ESPN, brought to you by EA Sports. And we'd like to welcome you to tonight's game between the Kent State Golden Flashes and the Crimson Tide of Alabama. We're live at Bryant-Denny Stadium in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, the battlefield for what should be a great football game. Kent State, tell us what we should be on the lookout for from their offense. They go with the spread. One of the things I really like about this is how it thins out a defense up front by getting so many receivers across the field. Whether they're running or passing, the defense can't be focused at the point of attack. For Kent State, any offensive success is going to involve slowing down a phenomenal defensive end. The offensive tackle who's got to stop him isn't so great, so I could envision him pretty much living in the offensive backfield today. Kickoff is just ahead, but first let's take you down for the coin toss. We'd like to take this time to let you know that our game is brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, the perfect combination of chocolate and peanut butter. Number Kent three, State three, has three, been three, waiting three, all three. week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. Fielded at the nine. He makes it to the 25-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. First down, 10 to go. They'll work the right side, and there's nothing going there. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. Second and 15. Four yards gain. From their own 24-yard line. Third down. Fires to his receiver. First down. They blitzed the corner that time, and it created a hole in the coverage. But that's the risk you take when you leave a receiver to rush the passer. From their own 48-yard line, it's first down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's four yards on the play. Second down and seven coming up here. Here's the halfback. Nice run up the middle. A gain of about four yards on the draw. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Now he's scrambling. Rolls to the right. He's out of bounds at the 31-yard line. Third down has been the charm on this drive. Well, it's been all about execution. When it comes to calling the right play at the right time, they've been able to do it here. <laughs> it's first and ten.
another run. And he's taken down around the 16-yard line. So his fifth run of the drive goes for another first down. This offense is running the ball very effectively on this drive. Here's the eighth play of the series. For the first time today, we'll get to see how this defense responds when they're backed up into the red zone. Inside give. Nice run, and he's brought down. They pick up a good six yards there. From the 10-yard line, second down. Fakes it, and the quarterback scrambles. And he throws it away. They're about four yards away here on third down. Now he's scrambling. He's got a touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. converts the extra point. That score leads us to our drive summary. They line up to kick this one away. He'll take it from the two. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Well, they're down a touchdown, so let's see how this offense responds now as they come on the field for the first time. Look, scoring is what an offense is supposed to do. These guys just need to remember what they did in practice all week. Drops back to pass. Throws out and through his hands. From their own 19-yard line, Second down. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Throws incomplete. They got a hand on it. That was a heads-up play by the corner, but it would have never happened if the receiver would have come back to the ball instead of waiting for it to fall into his lap. From their own 19-yard line, it's third down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Back to pass. He gets sacked on the play. He just moved past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. So it's fourth down. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Tries to return it, and he loses the ball. They nearly gave that ball away. But luckily, that guy was paying attention to what was going on and was able to recover the football. Now he's scrambling. He's in trouble. He let that one go before the defense got to him, and it fell incomplete. Sometimes if you can safely get rid of the ball, it's your best option. Gets the pitch. He's got a block. He's got the corner. Tackle right around the 36-yard line. Very well-designed play that time to give him a first down. Weinman executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36. Alabama up seven points. Play action here. He's going to scramble. Caught, and this is going to be a first down. 
they get away with one thrown into coverage. Boy, the quarterback very fortunate there. But I'll tell you, watching them in practice this week, this is something that they felt pretty confident that they have some success with. Inside the five, ball on the four. So their last red zone visit resulted in a touchdown. Let's see if the defense can hold them this time. Scrambling around. Fires a laser touchdown. You know, this entire group functions so well as a unit, and you saw it on that touchdown. Very good team effort. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's take a glance at the drive somewhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They line up to kick this one away. It's fielded at the two. Makes it out to about the 21-yard line. The defense shut them down on their last drive, forcing a quick punt. And now the ball is loose. He really wanted that ball, didn't he, Kirk? Uh, you can't teach hustle like that. The linebacker was determined to get the ball there, and he did. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. They're about four yards away here on second down. He drops back. He passes it. From their own 26-yard line, it's third down. Talk about home field advantage. He drops back. Throws it and it's tipped away. Alert read on that play. He didn't have too much time to react to that pass. So it's fourth down. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. And he's hammered down. And he didn't get anything on that return. Well, the coverage team did an outstanding job at containing here. You always see this with this team. They're very disciplined on special teams. He's on the run. Fires complete over the middle. This quarterback doesn't seem to be having any trouble with the zone, does he? He recognized the receiver was behind the coverage, and he found him with a perfect strike. That's nice passing for a first down. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. Pitch out. Looking for the corner. They'll bring him down at the 27. A two-yard run by the halfback. It's second and nine. Get him 
in the backfield. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. Third down, and they need to get it to the 19. Fires incomplete, knocked away. Nice job there to bring up a fourth down. Pretty good throw here by the quarterback, but he couldn't quite get it in there. That was a nice job by the defense. So it's fourth down, and the field goal unit's out to try this 48-yarder. Kicks away. So the kicker is unsuccessful, and this defense couldn't be any happier. So our count is still Alabama 14, Kent nothing. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31. And it's knocked away. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 31 yard line. Throws and it's knocked away. That's the kind of field vision you want out of your linebackers. They have to play well in coverage, and they have to be able to break up pass plays. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. Drops back to pass. Oh, he got nailed on that one. How about the effort of the defense right there? And what's crazy is we're still in the first quarter. If these hog mollies don't protect their quarterback any better, this guy's going to end up with a career day. Signals for a fair catch. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. First and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. He's on the run. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 49. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. As we change ends of the field, I don't think we're going to be seeing much of a change in the outcome. Our score here in Tuscaloosa is the Crimson Tide, 14. The Golden Flashes, nothing. Second down and short. Ball on the 49-yard line. Feeds it to the back. At the 35-yard line. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. He's scrambling. Pass is tipped away. Your instincts tell you to go for the pick. But you've got to make the best play you can. And sometimes it's just batting the ball away. Off play action. Now he's on the move. Throws ball and back and got his man. That makes it three touchdown passes this half. Well, the quarterback's going to get a lot of credit, but I think the thing that has helped him the most back there is the protection by the offensive line. He has had plenty of time to make decisions back there in the pocket. And he tacks on the extra point. Well, here's the drive summary to recap what just happened. like they're ready for the kickoff. He 
He'll take it from the two. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. The offense will be hoping for a little more success than they had the last time out. Takes the handoff inside and stopped immediately. It looks like they picked up a yard or a little less. Good pressure from the defense. They brought the heat. There wasn't much room for the running back to work with. It looked like they caught the quarterback by surprise. Well, that's a great call by the defensive coordinator. They send him off the corner, and he just uses his speed to get the sack. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Drops back to pass. How about the intensity of the pass rush? Well, they're definitely using that crowd noise to their advantage here as they make another big sack. It's fourth down, and they're ready to punt this one away. to get around the corner and he's tackled at the 44 let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive as you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline though i don't know if they can stop the passing attack but they need to at least be able to slow it down he's gonna try and scramble rose and watch out oh almost had a pick the big man here isn't used to making catches as a defensive lineman. But I'll tell you, he was still pretty athletic just to get his hands on it. They snap it to the back. And he throws it away. Let's see if they can get the quarterback to attempt to pass this time. Well, that's true, Brad. That was a tough play for this young man to make. He's scrambling. Throws a laser across the middle. They brought the house on that one. And this kid shows a lot of boys and moxie in the pocket. He knew he was going to get hit, but he hung in there and delivered the ball with accuracy. Play fake, looking to run. Here's the pass, broken up. Well-designed route, but tip your cap to the safety for making a real heads-up play with the deflection. tries to buy some time. Fires incomplete, knocked away. And he did a nice job breaking up that pass. Well, he did a great job here of not risking a big gain. Instead, he just batted it down. He's on the run. Flares it and almost had it intercepted. The deflection prevented them from getting any yards. And now, it's fourth down. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Sacked on play action. That was a pretty makeable field goal attempt. And I think they should have taken the points when they had their chance. They'll take over at the 29. They come out on an empty backfield. It's the sophomore that's got it. Tackle around the 36-yard line. The quarterback was just lucky to get that pass off. He was under a lot of pressure in the pocket. Hey, they picked up an ice gain of seven yards on that play. Great pass. Straight run. Nothing going on there. The running back gets two on the carry. They're changing the play. He's 
taken down around the 40-yard line. They're calling it audible. First down, looking to throw. Right down at about the 49. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. Hands off to the left and they wrestle him down behind the line. They're stopped for a five-yard loss. From their own 46-yard line, second down. He drops back, rifles this one out to the left, and he's got the junior, and they tackle him at the 21-yard line. First down, look at the throw. Even though he didn't come up with it, that was a huge play because he disrupted the quarterback's rhythm. Anytime you can come that close to picking off a pass, it makes him think just a little bit more. Complete. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked down after a nice game. It's a nice job here by the wide receiver of looking the ball in and keeping the chains moving. He was on the same page as his quarterback as they both saw the double outside linebacker blitz coming. Second down and goal. And this is the tenth play of the drive. He drops back. Got it to the senior. Just about three yards there. It's getting louder down in the field. They're calling an audible. fullback touchdown so the fullback gets into the action with that touchdown kick you gotta love the play calling from this offense today you never know what's coming and he adds the extra point now we take a look at the drive summary. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. So let's see how the defense will hold up now as this offense comes out for their next drive. They'll start this drive at the 30-yard line. <laughs> On the throw, incomplete pass. Now the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. the tight end and he's got the first to the 20 to the 10 and a huge touchdown play he's thrown four touchdown passes and we've got another half to go this passing attack has been unstoppable the secondary doesn't know what hit him
And he converts the extra point. And now we're going to take a look at the drive summary. Alabama kicked this one off. Taken at the five. Makes it to the 22-yard line. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. He was under some pressure there. Well, sometimes as a quarterback, you have so many things to worry about. What's the coverage? Where's the pressure coming from? And so on, that you lose focus at times throwing a catchable ball. Here, he just missed a target. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. Third and ten. Ball on their own 22. The sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. Throws incomplete. But well, his secondary has to feel pretty good about locking down the receivers on that drive. Fourth down. Here comes the punter looking to boot this one away. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. He scrambles. He lets it fly. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. I'm not sure the defender even saw that pass. It was lobbed so high. Great concentration to haul it in. First and goal from the three. They're knocking on the door. The last time they were in the red zone, they got a touchdown out of it. Pitch play. Looking for the corner. Touchdown, Alabama. Another touchdown. Why not? This just goes to show you that there is more to playing defense than emotion. You can't continuously play out of position like this. Or you're going to find yourself in a lot of mismatches. And today, those mismatches have turned into touchdowns. Splits the uprights with the extra point. So we take a moment here. Let's check out the drive summary. Alabama gets set to kick this one away. He'll take it from the two. Oh, man. He took him down hard. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. This offense needs to start playing some emotional football. Looks to pass. He's on the run, and they got him. The offense calls a timeout. It's second and long. Ball on their own 15. run to the left there. The defense calls a timeout. It's third and 13. Ball on their own 20. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Runs it. Oh, he's level. The defense calls a timeout. Fourth down. And they're ready to pump this one away. It's a block on the corner. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. Now, 
He's going to try and scramble. And he just gets rid of it. From the 40-yard line, it's second down. Five wide. He scrambles. They got some pressure on him that time. Yeah, and what that does is mess up the timing of the offense, causing the incompletion. Now he tries to buy some time. He almost had it, but it's incomplete, and that makes it fourth down. Boy, great defense on that play. They were expecting the pass, and they defended it very well by getting a hand in there to break up the play. Can't find anyone open, and he might want it all here, and does! Tipped away. Huge play for the defense. This drive will start at the 40-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Looking to throw. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He showed you some of his natural athletic ability following the play and making a really quick stab to knock away the pass. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Back to pass. Under pressure. Intercepted. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. And that was a super play by the defender. Excellent interception and an even better return for the score. So the officials are going to take a look at some of the replay angles. And what they're looking for is whether or not the ball touched the ground before he had possession. The ruling on the field stands. It's a catch. Converts the extra point. Alabama to kick this one off. He'll take it from the two. He makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line. The offense will start at the 23 yard line. run here right side and that's it for the first half and this game is getting ugly our score here in Tuscaloosa is Alabama 42 Kent 7 start the second half and hopefully we won't see the same type of shellacking that we saw in the first half it's fielded at the two makes it out to maybe the 19 yard line here we go at the start of the second half this is obviously not an easy situation Brad and I think the coach is going to have to tell his team to forget about the crowd and get his guys motivated so they can compete this half. Maybe, just maybe, they can get back into the game. He's going left. Intercepted. It's the junior corner. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Alabama. So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum.
converts the extra point. Alabama gets set to kick this one away. Taken at the five. Brought down at the 22-yard line. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. He looks to throw on first down. And he's tackled at the 22. They've just been outmatched and outplayed this entire game. That pass was thrown with very little confidence, and it was an easy interception for the defense. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. Alabama with a big advantage. Fires deep down the right side. Touchdown time. He's hit the 300-yard mark with that throw. He's been able to get up and down the field all day today, moving consistently and effectively. He's really helped his team roll today. There's no question about that. Converts the extra point. That score leads us to our drive summary. Alabama is ready to kick it away. He'll take it from the two. Brought down at the 20. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did on their last drive, which ended with a turnover. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. Got his man. Oh, what a hit. They're changing the play. Can't find anyone open. Looks to him again, complete. And they make the stop at the 46-yard line. Hands it to the back. And he's taken down at the 42. And the tailback broke that one for a very nice game. Give the offensive line some kudos there. They blocked very well up front to create the holes for this back. Hands off to the right and is brought down in the backfield. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Fires out to his wideout. He's tackled around the 41-yard line. Good tackle there in space. Kirk, he's really got a lot of confidence in his receivers. Yeah, I think he does, but in this case, I think he just threw it up for grabs. He thinks his receiver could make the catch no matter how many guys are hanging on his back. Gives it off. Well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. Down. 
change in the play. He gets rid of it, and it's going the other way. And now he's got room to run. The five. He's all the way home. Touchdown. Great job here by the defender breaking on the ball and taking it to the house. Man, those pick sixes can really hurt an offense and have a lasting impact. the extra point. Alabama to kick. Taken at the five. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. We know this offense can move the ball. As long as they can avoid those types of mistakes, they should be all right. There's an injured player on the field. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. They'll run the option. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. He may have changed things up here. Here's the option to the right. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. A good tackling safety is key for any defense. And if they can diagnose a play like this guy can, he can be a real menace. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. They've really thrown the quarterback's rhythm off and rattled his confidence with such a relentless pass rush. He's not himself out there at all today. Sack makes this a fourth and very long. And down he goes at the 43-yard line. Nowhere to go there. Great job of getting downfield and making the tackle by the coverage team. Alabama up big. Brings it out left, and he stopped right away. A two-yard run by the halfback. We've watched this guy play, and over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. They're going to pitch it. They'll bring him down at the 41. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. From the 41-yard line, first down. Let's go, Let's go. Deep ball, laying it out there. He caught it, touchdown. Tack on another score, his third in the passing game. It's really not too crazy. He's just running good, clean routes and catching the ball when it comes his way. the PAT. Let's take a glance at the drive summary. Oh. Alabama is ready to kick it away. Oh. 
He'll take it from the two. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Takes it right, and he can't get back to the line of scrimmage. Did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play? That's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss. Into the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. Score that one is a win for the defensive line. They got the better of the offensive line right there. It's third down and 15 to go. Ball on the 14-yard line. On the ground, and he is hammered. He's really quick with his lateral movement, especially for a guy this big. He got to the ball carrier before he could get out of the backfield. And he muffed it. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. Kirk, he broke the cardinal rule there. He ran without the football. You know, as a return man, your first responsibility is to catch the ball and then worry about the return. He just lost his concentration there. The main thing is they got the ball back, and now they can go to work on offense. First and ten. Alabama is winning big. Fakes it, and the quarterback scrambles. He delivers. And they tackle him at the 12. What a great play. This is the timing that we talked about in the pregame that they must have in order to be successful at their passing game. That time, the quarterback threw it to a spot, and his receiver was there to make a nice grab. First down on the 12, and they can smell the goal line. Their last red zone trip resulted in a touchdown. I don't expect this one to be any different. Gets the pitch. He's got a block. He's got the corner. What a play, and that is first and goal. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. First and goal from the one, looking to punch this one in. They put everyone up on the line. Looks to the end zone and it's caught. Touchdown. So they hit the halfback on the short pass for the touchdown. Boy, what a great story. They've talked about the commitment that this guy has made in practice to make himself a more complete player. He has spent many extra hours catching ball after ball. Right there, it paid off. He makes the PAT. But here's the drive summary to recap what just happened. Alabama ready to kick this one off. He'll take it from the two. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. And we reach the end of three, and this game is all but decided. Our score here at Bryant-Denny, the Crimson Tide, 77, the Golden Flashes, 7. From their own 18-yard line, it's second down. Off the right side, doesn't get much, good tackle. changing the play he 
He's looking to pass. I don't think they necessarily have to go for it here on fourth down. There's no doubt. Time is becoming a factor. at the 46-yard line. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. To the right and tackled immediately. A pickup of about three. The middle linebacker came on a blitz and did a great job of blowing up that run. He's changing things up. He's on the run. He rolls out to the left. Once it all, going deep. This one should be interesting. That's still no excuse for this defense to just shut down. I mean, you would think that they would work even harder to stop these guys being down by so much. So after the big pass play, we have a first and goal. Their last trip down here was a success. Let's see if this one will result in another touchdown. Toss play. Touchdown. Well, at this point, these guys are just out there padding stats and running up the score. Sometimes you play in a game, you can't do anything wrong. You find yourself in a rhythm or a zone. This whole team seems like they've been in a rhythm since we kicked this game off. Splits the uprights with the extra point. And here's our drive summary. Alabama ready to kick this one off. From the seven. He makes it out to about the 27-yard line. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. They'll line up with five wide receivers. It's complete. And he's taken down at the 33. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone by him that time. Yeah, the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. It's third and eight. Ball on the 29-yard line. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. The man defense proves to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. First and ten. Ball on their own 42. Now he's scrambling. Here's the pass. Broken up. That's what the defensive back coach likes to see. His kids reacting when the ball is in the air and then making the play. Second and ten. Alabama up by a bunch. They get the sack. Aggressive call there to send the corner, and it paid off. Boy, did he get in there quick or what? He's going to try and scramble. He goes downtown. Missed him. Let's see if the momentum from that defensive stand carries over to their offense. Yeah. 
Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. He's on the run. If they'd punted, it would have pushed them back pretty far. Now, by failing on fourth down, they've given them pretty decent field position. Not a great gamble by going for it. And while I disagree with the call, I've got to admire the tenacity of this coach. He'll do just about anything to win. Drops back to pass. He's brought down in the open field. They come out in a five-wide set. And he's level at the 38-yard line. Can this offense do anything to slow down this pass rush? I think they need to make some adjustments with their pass protection. Maybe allow the backs to stay in the block because the quarterback is getting pounded back there. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. Drops back to pass. They bring the quarterback down, and they're really getting some good pressure now. These hits take a toll on a quarterback, physically and psychologically. The blockers have got to do a better job of taking care of it. Fourth and long here after the sack. And he's taken down at the six. They went for it on fourth down on their last possession and weren't successful. That stop gave this defense some momentum last time out. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep that intensity on this drive. Gives it off. Good open field tackle. That's a gain of eight. Alabama in control. Just under three to go in regulation. He gets another carry. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Well, that's just a good call from the defensive side of the football. They know what this team likes to run, and they got the better of them that time. Makes the handoff, and he's in trouble. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. It's fourth down. The punter comes on the field, getting ready to send one off. The punter will line up deep in his own end zone. And this one is a beauty. Calls for the fair catch. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. They'll start this drive at midfield. Straight run, nothing going on there. They're calling an audible. <laughs> Throws to the tight end, and that ball's incomplete. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. He drops back. Tackled at the 12 yard line. And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. Has it to the senior. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch. That's fun to see. He may have changed things up here. Takes a handoff inside and stopped immediately. I'd say he got one or two feet on that try. It's a good run blitz by the outside linebacker there. They shut down all the holes and kept this halfback from gaining many yards. Well, they're not going to win it, but they're still playing hard out there. 
He stepped up and threw a touchdown pass to his wideout. Yep, good job of protection, and the quarterback spotted his man. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And now we're going to take a look at the drive summary. Number Looks like they're lined up for the onside kick. They need to get the ball back. Looks like they'll line up for the onside kick. And they got it. It doesn't look like they're going to be able to pull this one out, but you admire the hustle to recover the onside kick, even at this point in the game. They try to run it inside, and he's hammered. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. He's changing things up. Back to pass. And the safety with the interception. Here he goes. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown. Crimson Tide. How about the play by the defender? That was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown. He makes the PAT. So with less than a minute to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Alabama 91, Kent 14. Alabama ready to kick this one off. Taken from the three-yard line. And he just got stood up right there. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. From their own 22-yard line. First down. with only one man to beat. Open receiver drops. It's second and ten. the throw and I don't think he got anything on that maybe three yards that time on the pass it's a nice catch by the junior wide receiver but an even better effort by the defense to keep him from going anywhere looking for his man incomplete these guys just don't seem to be on the same page and they're gonna have to be if they expect to win this game It's a short kick. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, Alabama 91, Kent 14. Now it's time to present the Reese's Perfect Play of the Game, which is brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, the perfect combination of chocolate and peanut butter. Kirk, what do you think of this one? Coming into this game, I thought that these two teams were pretty evenly matched. So the fact that they won by such a comfortable margin really says a lot about what a great game they play. Alabama just came into this game and flat out wanted it more. I don't think anybody expected an easy victory. Well, this young man is our player of the game. A donation of $10,000 will be made to the school's general scholarship fund in his name.
that's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 11. For Kirk Herbstreet and Aaron Andrews, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye. Yeah.